it. So this video is just about nothing really. It's about the frustrations of making a video. I thought it was some funny outtakes. Uh, I was going to make a video today and I got three or four good clips in of me filming and talking and then I decided, heck with it man, it's too much editing to do. So I'm just going to show y'all the content I filmed without any editing. There's about three different segments on it and what it would, you know, go back to cut, cut it down. You know, I'm just not going to mess with it today. It's raining and uh, I just thought it'd be funny. So if you guys are interested, stay tuned. We'll get right into it. Today, Jungle Bob here. Uh, we did manage to get a few things done this morning, uh, but it's raining. My my video today is really about belts, and uh, this is a John Deere. I think it's an E110 or E100, and I was just going to show this for an example uh, about quality belts. Let's get under here and look. You see how that belt hangs off up there? It's already came off once it got twisted. So uh, this particular lawnmower is not the customer that uh, the problem was about. But uh, and while we're looking, hang on, I'll get into this in a little bit. We've got a snapper that we're putting a new transmission in. This is old high back. Uh, This guy wanted to put a new pump on his uh, old pressure washer because he bought it from a friend. Ha, that was expensive. No, really, this is one of those uh, pumps off of, uh, you can get them off Amazon or eBay for about 100 bucks. But the guy bought it and it broke. He burned up the other pump. And uh, there's the old one over there. And uh, so he had to fix it locked up anyway uh but belts so get back to the belt thing so that you can see that was a black belt it was a belt that the customer had brought over here to me to put on the lawnmower and it doesn't fit right so uh you gotta go back and get the factory belt now i haven't got a chance to put this on there yet but i promise you it's going to be different because this John Deere belt here is a 17 30 seconds, not a half inch, by 103 and three quarters. So, and I, I don't know about those knockoff belts, but anyway, we'll get into it. Happening, Jungle Bob here, raining, but we got a lot done this morning. But we're getting ready to put that transmission on this snapper. Uh, got this in. It's a that time cutter that you saw the other day come in and we was wanting to know he said it wasn't cutting even let me show you why I'll look up under there you can see I don't know if you can see but two bolts are missing in that spindle up top you can see that's rattled right loose so this thing is just moving up and down basically so when it's done damage to the other side as well. We've got to fix that. Uh, this John Deere came in, needs a belt. I see somebody's put one of them knockoff belts on there. The reason I can tell is black. Uh, it's not the right belt, it keeps coming off. It's about, it's way too long. You have to put the factory belt on it. On this one, it's a GX2072. We did get this one going finally uh, and running. We ended up putting a new carburetor on it, new fuel line, fuel pump. Still missing the screen up here. So, and uh, let me get the key for it. It's kind of raining, but we'll see if it'll start. Oh yeah, and this one turned out no compression on the engine. It's a junker. It's going back to where it came from. Let's see. Runs a lot better now I put the new carburetor on there. I had one. it uh 
I want to talk to you about those belts here in a second, though, if I have enough time. Bob here. Just uh, been raining today. Got a little work done this morning. Just going to tell you an update on all that equipment that came in uh, on Friday. Just show you where we're at on that. And uh, talk to you a little bit about factory belts. From, uh, you know, like your deck belts. On some models, it matters a whole lot. I, I know we've covered this before in other videos, and a lot of people talk about it, but just uh, get the factory belt. Don't try to buy the knockoff brand, and, and you'll understand why on that John Deere that you saw, there's a black belt on it, and and I think it's from D&D &D Power Drive, but I know they don't sell uh, this factory belt uh, that'll fit. They say they claim it'll fit on that uh, John Deere, but it will not. You need a, a GX20072 belt, because it's 17 and 30 seconds, not a half inch, and it's 103.75, which is 103 and, and three quarters, not 104, whatever. And that little bit makes a difference on those John Deere's because the blades will keep, I mean, the belt will keep popping off on the front front pulley all the time. Anyway, uh, that's it for today. Just checking in from Birmingham, Alabama. So watch the video if you're interested, and uh, we'll see you on the next one.